hey guys welcome back to the channel today it's osereme back here in this video i'm going to be making a simple straight palazzo trouser i got this inspiration from stitches by icy and i loved how mine came out very pretty as well so if you're interested in seeing how i made this definitely keep on watching and let's get started so guys the first thing i went ahead to do was to fold a piece of fabric into two that would be enough for me to get the front part of this pant and the top of this trouser is going to have a one and a half inch band so i'm going to take that one and a half inch away from my tape to take all my measurements so from there this point right here i am going to mark down to my hip line which is eight inches and i'm just going to make a straight line across with my ruler Now I'm still going to take note of that one and a half inch. I'm going to go down to mark my crouch line which is 11 inches. An easy way to get your crouch measurement is to sit on a chair and then take your measurement from your waist down to the top of the chair and that's basically it. To get the lap measurement, I'm just going to come down from my crouch line by 4 inches. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to come down here, this hip line here. I'm going to divide my hip measurement by 4 and then I added an extra 1 inch as stitching allowance and I marked it. Now on the crotch line I'm just going to add 2 inches to what I have on this my hip line and I'm going to mark it. So guys at this particular point instead of 2 inches you can add 2.5 inch or 3 inches to the crouch line depending on how big the person is. Now I will just extend a, a straight line across from the waist down to the crouch and I'm going to make a curve from the hip line to get to that extra 2 inch that I added to the crotch line. So this is basically how you mark your crotch and then on the waistline I'm going to mark my waist measurement here and then I'm going to add 1 inch for that intake and then another 1 inch for stitching and I'm just going to connect this waist down now to the hip line. So guys, on this tie line, I'm going to divide my tie circumference by 2 and I'm just going to mark it as well. I'll just add 1 inch stitching allowance to what I have and I'm going to mark it. So I'm going to extend the line I have from my crouch down to meet that. Now I'm going to mark the full length of this band and I'm still going to take note of that one and a half inch band at the top and I went down to... Um, 40 inches is the length of my trouser but I marked 43 inches because I want to be able to fold it very wide at the end. So now I'm just going to connect that line at the tie all the way to the end of this pant. And I will do the same thing for the other side as well. Now this is basically all for the front piece. Now we're just going to cut it out along the white lines. Now we're going to use this front piece to cut out the back piece. I went ahead to fold up another piece of fabric that is wider, way wider than um, the one we used to cut out the front so that we have enough space to add um, extra inches to the back piece and also left some space at the top as well when I placed my front piece on the back. Now on the waistline, I'm going to take a measurement, um, add 2 inches to the measurement I had and then on the hip line I come out by two inches as well and then on the crouch line I came out by two and a half inches and you know you can always add more inches to the crouch line 
next thing i did was to just connect all my dots and then on the tie i added two inches and i'm just going to connect that to the crouch and i'm just going to mark that two inches all the way to the end of this pant guys please i really need you to pay attention to this part so on this waistline here i'm going to just make a straight line to from the front to the back so that you understand what i'm doing and then i went up by two inches at the top for the back um part and from there i went ahead to mark what i the waist measurement i have in the front and that is nine inches so i'm just going to replicate that in a slant so from that two inch i went up with i am marking a slant exactly nine inches because this is not going to have a, an elastic band at the back so i want it to be exactly tight on my waist so after that new waist now we're just going to remove the front part of it and then connect this new point to meet the hip line i hope you actually understand this so we just went up on the waistline of the back and then connected it to meet the hip line and that's basically all so now we're just going to cut out the back piece Now we are through with all the cutting, I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and stitch the crouch area of the front and the back piece together. So guys, after I was done stitching it, the next thing I am going to be doing right now is using my nipple to nipple measurement to mark my that point. So I just marked it, my nipple to nipple measurement is 6 inches, so I'm just marking half of that which is 3 inches and I'm just going to placed my dart on this point here so i went ahead to stitch down that that area i was marking just now and this is what it looks like now i have done it for both back and front it's time to join the sides of this pant so this is the back piece i'm opening up right now i'm going to open up the front piece as well and place it right side facing each other as you can see and I'm just basically going to head over to the sewing machine and stitch it on both sides but one side of this is going to have a zipper so I'm going to take the measurement of my zipper away and stitch it down from there so guys this is what it looks like after I was done stitching um, the sides together so now we're going to work on the middle part which is this crouch area so I'm going to ensure that the crouch area of the front and the back are aligned together and then I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and stitch it from one end of the trouser through the crouch area all the way to the other end of the trouser. So guys after I was done with that this is what I have it's all stitched down and looking very clean. Now the next thing I'm going to work on is on this um, zipper area that I left and the band so I'm going to fix my zipper to the side that I left and then this is the band I cut out remember that I left a one inch space at the top so I just went ahead to iron my stay to one side of this band this is totally optional but I just wanted to um, add this so this is what I'm going to now place around the waist so as you can see my pant I've already joined added the zipper to this side here so now we're going to place a band that is going to have button at the top so what I'm basically going to do is to open up this zipper area and I'm going to first stitch my band in a way that it will have an extra space outside of the zipper area so that I'll have a space to make my 
buttonhole so guys this is what i mean i went ahead to um, stitch in this um, band on one side just a little bit by about one and a half inch so when i head over to the sewing machine now to stitch this down i will start stitching from the side that i didn't stitch down earlier so this other part will be for the um button hole so i'm just going to head over to the sewing machine now and stitch this band all the way around the waist So this is how the band looks like so you can see the buttonhole area I was talking about so I'm just going to hold this place down with a pin so that it stays perfectly in place so now the only thing left is the end of this band so I'm just going to straighten it up and cut it very straight cut a little bit out of it you know I gave it a lot of allowance when I was cutting now I'm just going to head over to the sewing machine and fold it up twice so I'm going to fold it in once like this and then fold again and I'll do it all the way around and that'll basically be all. So that's all for this pants guys. I've stitched down the end, I have done the waist and everything is in place. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful and I hope that you actually try using this um, pattern. If this is your first time on here and you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.